Welcome to Local Dare Tutorials. I'm Leo, and today I'm going to show you how to build your first Power App using Local Dare components. Wait, you don't know Local Dare yet? Don't worry, let's find out together. Local Dare is a subscription service that gives you access to a complete component library that will not only accelerate the creation of Power Apps, but allow you to achieve what would not be possible with out of the box components. To use it, Everything you need to do is to download the component package and import as a solution to your environment. You can manage the usage in our platform and provide access to tokens. Also, now that you know how it works, let's see how easy it is to achieve a result like this, leveraging the card component, the text box component and the navbar component. Alright, let's do this! I'm in a blank canvas app and now I will start to add some components inside my app. For that I will select get more components and select the code tab. Here I can see the components I already imported to this environment. I will search for text box and import it. Now I can see we have a new type of object group called code components. However, if I select the text box that we just imported, it won't work. This is because we need to import a master component and provide our activation token. So let's get a step back and import it as well. As you can see, this master component has a property called app token. We just need to fill it with a valid token. The token can be obtained in local direct platform. I will just copy and paste my developer token. It allows me to try local Dara in edit mode, but it won't work for the end user. Now our text box is working. I will import the card and nav bar components as well. Now we are in a blank page and I'm going to insert a gallery. So let's insert a blank vertical gallery. Next step, I'm going to connect with our data source, which is an Excel spreadsheet. This Excel spreadsheet contains information about the seven wonders, including a link to their picture. Back to our gallery, let's insert a card component inside the template. I will also change the rep count to 3. Just like any other object in Parabs, we just need to set up the properties. I'm going to start by changing the title first. Then I will change the description and we can see that our cards are taking shape. For the text, I'll make a small adjustment using the left formula to get only 200 characters. Now let's add some image by referencing the link in the spreadsheet. Also, let's define a tag test by using the location. This is the tag text. We can easily change the color by typing blue in the tag font color property. Also, we can define an icon for the tag. We can also define an action for the card, so in this case I'm going to use the launch formula to show the image in another tab on the browser. Let's use the text box control to create a search bar. Let's add the placeholder property. To make our search work, let's leverage the search formula. Now let's give it a try and awesome it's working. Now we're going to create a button component to work as a reset button. 
Let's change the label and the icon property. And now one last component, let's add the nav bar. The content from the nav bar is created from a collection. So I'm going to create this collection at onStart property. We can create drop down items that are going to show more items and we can create action items. Action items are going to be used to interact with other events in Power Apps. So now let's run on start and bind our collection with the navbar menu. Now I have all the seven wonders in our navbar menu. Navbar menu gives us an output property which we can use to interact with other objects in Power Apps. Just like a gallery, we can track which item is being selected. So let's store this information inside a variable. And now I'm going to place this variable in the default property of the text box. Also, I'm going to use the reset button to clear this variable. This way, all of our components are now interacting with each other. And this is the final result. How easy was that? Hey, thanks for watching this video. You can try local data for free by creating a developer account. I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to receive the latest news about our components. See ya!